Brad Nessler here, and with me as always, Kirk Herbstreit and Lee Corso. Clear skies and just beautiful weather here for tonight's game between the all-time Washington Huskies and the all-time Virginia Tech Hokies. We hope you're ready for an action-packed game of NCAA football. And here come the Hokies. If you compare these teams on paper, they really look to be pretty equal. Kirk, what do you think? All-time Washington needs to get the ball in the hands of their athletes. That means getting their running back maybe 25 or 30 touches today. If they do that, Lee, they'll take care of business. I picked my winner this morning. Here we go. Yo, watch out for the Huskies. kick this one off. We should have a return on this one. Number 81 fields it at the three. Broke away from one. Today we get to watch a very talented quarterback direct the offense. The head coach mentioned earlier in the week how important it is for him to have a good game. There's no doubt about it. He needs to play well today, but it's not going to be easy. He's going up against a very good set of corners. You can have the corners, Kirk. I'll take this quarterback in this matchup any day of the week. He's a proven leader, and he won't let his team down. It's second down and 10 to go. Ball on their own 20. The Hokies come out in the ace formation. And they make the stop. The running back gets two on the carry. Third and eight. Ball of the 22. They'll work from the shotgun. He's rolling left. He'll dump this one off. And it's knocked down. Knocked down at the line of scrimmage. It's a very physical and athletic defensive front, and they're more than capable of making plays like that. Burn set to punt. Burns punts it, and it's a good one. Number 37 fields it to 29. There's a fumble. Taylor lays it on him. First and ten, ball on the 28. Yeah. All-time Virginia Tech comes out with an eye formation. Yeah. They'll drop him for a loss. Excellent play by the defense that time as they swallowed him up before he got back to the line. It's more like they devoured him. He had no shot of breaking clean. Second and 13 coming up here. Ball on the 31. The Hokies come out in a two tight end set. He gets another carry. Tackle. The halfback picks up a yard. One yard gain on the play. Third down and 12 to go. Ball on the 30 yard line. The Hokies come out in a shotgun. Drops back to pass. Rolls to the left, throws this one out to the left. Oh, he could have had a big reception that time, guys. Just let that one get away from his vision just for a split second. <laughs> Going with the shotgun here, steps up. And they sack him on fourth down. 
They hold on fourth down. Now that's how you get a team motivated. I wouldn't be surprised to see their offense take the field with an explosive power attack. They'll start this drive at the 34-yard line. All-time Washington lines up in a shotgun set. He's looking. He steps up, wants to go long, and does. And got him! And he's brought down. Move those sticks. That's a first down and a great catch, too. Did you see how he looked that one in? Oh, there's no doubt about it. He can catch the football. Come to the line with their jumbo package. Tuyasa Sopo on play action. And it's caught for the touchdown. They look for the big boy on that one. And they found him with no problem. That guy has a load to break down. And he tacks on the extra point. That score leads us to our Pontiac drive summary. time Washington is ready to kick it away kicks it off number 81 fields it at the two the offense heads out onto the field on their last series they opted to try and convert a fourth down and they came up short they'll take over at the 18 yard line first and ten single set backfield to run with it. And it looks like there's an injury down there on the field. Right. It's second down and nine to go. Ball, Ball on their own 19. 19 the Hokies line up in an eye formation. They'll run the option. And he's tackled. He plows ahead for a two-yard gain. Gain of two on the play. Third down and seven. Ball on the 21-yard line. All-time Virginia Tech comes out in the shotgun. He drops back. Looking. Throws it to the outside. Got him on the run. The 50, at the 40, at the 30, to the 20, to the 10. Goodbye. The wideout made a great catch for the score. Actually, I'm even more impressed with the throw. He hung in there and delivered a beautiful ball. Time to take a look at the drive summary. It's brought to you by Pontiac. 
fuel for the soul. Virginia Tech lines up for the kickoff. Kicks it off. Gain fields it in the end zone. Passing wasn't much of a problem the last time this offense had the ball as they were able to get it in for six. They'll get the ball here at the 17-yard line. The offense is doing everything they can just to call the plays, and right now, they're not having much luck at all. Coffee on the give. There he goes! Jufu, and they make the stop. He's not your ordinary fullback. This guy can move. You bet he can. I like this kid. He's a heck of a football player. They need to get him some more carries. First and ten, all on their own 35. Single set back to you. He's going to try to throw. It's on the ground. Second and long coming up here. Ball on the 27. The Husky go with the eye formation. Tuyasa Sopo drops back to pass. Down the middle. It's deflected. That's what I like to see, because when you call a zone defense, you have to be aware of what's behind you and in front of you. And when you have a linebacker who does the things that this guy can do, it adds a lot to your defense. Passing situation here on third and long. Ball on the 27-yard line. Number 20, the lone back. Tuyasa Sopo, set to go to the air. He's going left. Complete at the 40. He goes down. I thought I was paying attention here, but I looked up and... The guy's got 100 yards receiving already. When did that happen? Coach, I'm wondering the same thing. He's having a great game out there today. It's first and 10, and this is the fifth play of the current drive. Nickel defense. Tuyasa Sopo steps back to pass. Throws it to the outside. Whitaker brings him down. A gain of nine yards on the play. Second and one coming up here. This is the sixth play of this drive. The last time they were in the red zone, they got a touchdown out of it. James on the tackle, and they got him for a loss. They're stopped two yards behind the line. So another third down upcoming for the offense. The Huskies line up in an eye formation. And they hit him in the backfield. Boy, he is one big guy down there on that defensive line. Oh, man, the big fella's a hoss. I saw him last night at the hotel. He had three bags of food going up his room. Yo, it looks like he's got a big old bag hanging over his belt. Eight pounds. They'll call him a field goal unit here. It's up. And it's right down the middle. Let's take a glance now at the Pontiac Drive Summary. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He boots it deep downfield. Number 81 fields it in the end zone. Great passing was the key for the offense the last time they had the ball. They were able to pick apart the defense and get down the field for a touchdown. So if I'm the coach, I'm telling my defensive lineman to get more pressure on that quarterback, please. 
All-time Virginia Tech goes with the ace set here. Play action. Wants to throw outside. Oh, he had a shot at the pick. They just couldn't capitalize on the bad pass. Yeah, I thought the defender had it, but he couldn't get the pick. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 14. All-time Virginia Tech lines up in a double tight set. Makes a pitch. Tackle. He kept it himself and picked up a good-looking first down. Another reason why I love the option. Just when you think he's going to pitch it, he cuts up the field and keeps the ball himself. No question, Coach. Great execution and a good decision there by the quarterback. First and ten. Ball on their own 27. All-time Virginia Tech lines up in a shotgun set. He jukes him. And he's taken down. I hope you didn't blink because the fastest running back we've seen all year just kept the drive alive with a big first down. Fastest running back we've seen all year is a bold statement. But you know what, Brad? It's probably true. First it's first and 10. All on their own 40. The Hokies come out in a two tight end set. They keep it on the ground with a tailback. There's a missed tackle, and down he goes. And that was a nice run. Kirk, that was a great job by that big offensive line. Yeah, it really was, Brad. And also, a nice read by the ball carrier to find that running lane. When you break one like that, you gotta give a lot of credit to the offensive line. First and 10, ball on the 50. Going with the shotgun here. Here's the option. Pitches back. Here he goes, inside the 30, to the 20, to the 10. He's all the way, touchdown. He was into that secondary and into the end zone in no time flat. And I'd like to see how fast this guy runs the 40. I got the opportunity to see him in the playoffs this senior year of high school. And let me tell you, when it came to speed, he looked like a man among boys. And apparently, that hasn't changed. And he hits the PAT. The fine folks at Pontiac bringing us this summary of how that drive took place. like they're ready for the kickoff. Nice kick, plenty of distance. Gaines fields it in the end zone. The offense goes back out onto the field after picking up a field goal on their last drive. They'll set up shot at the 16. The Husky come out in the ace formation. Drill. Oh, man. He'll feel that one in the morning. That's called making a statement. When you get into the backfield like that and put somebody on their back, it really sends a message. Second and 11 coming up. Ball on the 15. Tuyasa Sopo with three wide receivers. Counterplay. They'll drop in for a loss. They sent the blitz and drilled the running back before he could find any daylight. It's third down and 11 to go. Ball on the 15-yard line. One man back to you. Tuyasa Sopo drops back. Throws this one out to the left. It's tipped. I tell you what, Kirk, if that receiver doesn't get more aggressive, this defense is going to be knocking the balls down all game long. You're absolutely right. That was a heads-up play by the corner, but it would have never happened if the receiver would have come back to the ball instead of waiting for it to fall into his lap. Looks like they're going to punt it away here. They get this one off, and it's a beauty. Scale. Here's it for 39. The offense is back on the field after that last touchdown drive, and let's see if they try to move the ball on the ground again. 
They'll go to work at the 43. First and 10. The Hokies go with the I formation. They'll throw on first down. He's looking down the middle. Got it to him on the run. Way to look it in. Nice catch. Sure was. He displayed some great hands there. Now we're looking at a first down. It's first and ten. Ball on the 45. All-time Virginia Tech comes to the line with three wide. Throws it to the outside. About four yards on that play. Gain of four on the play. Second and six coming up here. Ball on the 41-yard line. The Hokies come out in a two-tight end set. Puts it on the turf. Number nine recovers a loose ball. The running back just lost the handle on that one. Look out. That ball flew out of there like a wet bar soap. They'll take over at the 36-yard line. All-time Washington sets up with four receivers. They go with the run. Little shake and bake move with the spin. And they make the stop. That was a pretty good run. Incredible effort there running the football by this guy. It's first and ten. Ball on the 43-yard line. They line up in an eye. Break one. They'll wrestle him down in the backfield. The halfback couldn't get any running room. And that was because the defense had called a blitz just at the right time. He went right through the offensive line and nailed him for a loss. Second and 11 coming up. Ball on the 44-yard line. The impact player at running back is in the zone right now. Toss. Bounces off the rookie tackler. And he's going to lose yards on this one. This safety is something special, Coach. Yeah, great look good player who gets better and better every game. Third down and 12 to go. Ball on the 45. The Husky with four receivers. He drops back. Throws it to the outside. And he's got it on the fly. Brought down. That's how you get a first down. Coach, they took a risk and went for the long ball. Boy, did it pay off. Excellent play call. And since we're in the red zone, let's have a look at the numbers. Brought to you by Old Spice Red Zone, when performance matters the most. This impact tailback would love nothing more than to have the ball in his hands right now. And down he goes. All-time Washington takes a timeout. Sosopo comes to the line with three wide. Looks like someone got a head start on the line. That penalty drives them back, and they're shooting themselves in the foot here. Well, if they could just keep their concentration, they'll avoid situations like that. Ball inside the five. Ball in the 13. The counter can't pick him up. They'll drop in for a loss. All-time Washington calls a timeout. It's 
second and goal. This is the seventh play of this drive. The Huskies line up in an eye formation. A little misdirection. And they got him for a loss. A loss on that one as he couldn't get past those big linemen. You got that right. They sacrificed their bodies in there and stuffed him. That brings up third and goal. And this is the eighth play of the drive. The Huskies go with the eye formation. Rolls right. He's looking down the middle. Makes a catch in the end zone. Touchdown. Flags are down, and this one might be on the Ooh. offense. On the offense. Ten yard penalty. Still the penalty will down. force him into third and long now. Yes, sir. The coach is going to give him a little talking to when he gets off the field. It's third and goal. Ball on the 24-yard line. All-time Washington lines up in a double tight set. Tuiasa Sopo, back to pass, steps up in the pocket. Smith with a takedown. He might have gained a yard on that scramble. Number 18 comes in to kick the field goal, and he's going to have to get a leg into this one. The kick is up, and it is good. And now we'll take a look at the Pontiac Drive Summary. All-time Washington, ready to kick this one off. Number 81 and number 80, back ready to return. Kicks it off. Number 81, fields it in the end zone. He jukes, spin move. I'm sure the defense will be trying to strip the ball once again. And if these kids don't start hanging on to the football, they won't see another offensive series. They might start putting in some of those defensive players that really want to play bad. The Hokey set up in the gun, steps up, looks like he's going to run, and he's tackled, and he didn't get much on that scramble before they drilled it. Brad, that's a great way for the quarterback to get himself injured. He needs to be a lot more careful out there. Second and nine, ball on the 22-yard line. All-time Virginia Tech comes out with two tight ends. A move. He can scoot. Tackle. All time Virginia Tech takes a timeout. It's first and ten. Ball on the 31 yard line. This looks like their last shot to get it to the end zone. Looks. Throws. And that'll do it for the first half of play. Our halftime score, all-time Virginia Tech, 14. All-time Washington, 13. We'll see what kind of halftime adjustments were made as we prepare to start the second half. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. Gaines fields it in the end zone. Tries to juke. Time once again for this offense to come back out and start another drive. They'll get the ball here at the 20. Go, 
Tuyasu Sopo with four wide receivers. Tuyasu Sopo on play action. He passes it. It falls incomplete. He got the ball away, but it wasn't anywhere near a completion. Nah, he just wanted to avoid the sack. Second and ten. Ball on the 20-yard line. The Husky line up in an I formation. They go with the run. And the tackler, Moore, brings him down. One yard on the play. One yard gain on the play. It's third down and nine to go. Ball on the 21-yard line. Two tight ends here. Tuyasu Sopo. Back to throw. He's looking. Across the middle. And they couldn't hook up on that one. There is no excuse for dropping a pass. Yeah, and that ball had some heat on it. I don't care. Drop passes are inexcusable. the punt. Boy, punts it, and it's a good one. Scale. Field at the 35. Time once again for this offense to come back out and start another drive. They'll set up shot at the 39. All-time Virginia Tech sets up in the eye. A little juke. Stewart with a takedown. Pick up of a yard for the tailback. One yard gain on the play. Second and nine coming up here. Ball on the 40. They'll work from the shotgun. They'll run the option. And he's going to lose yards on this one. He got nothing on that play. The defense is really digging in now, you guys. Third and ten. Ball on their own 39. Number 16. Lines up in the shotgun. He steps up. Looking. Throws it to the outside. It's tipped. Great defensive play by the cornerback. Time Virginia Tech ready to put this one away. It's off and it is a dandy. Number 37 signals for a fair catch. And it goes into the end zone down for a touchback. And now we'll see the offense come out out of the field for their next possession. They'll go to work at the 20 yard line. And the defensive end is looking to make a play. They'll throw on first down. Over the middle. It's deflected. Fantastic play by the cornerback. All you young defensive backs at home, that is how you play defense. Second and 10. Ball on the 20-yard line. High formation here. Sopo gives it up the middle and down he goes. The running back gives them six yards on the ground. Gain of six on the play. It's third down and four to go. Ball on their own 26. Number 20 is dangerous. Let's see if they put the ball in his hand. All-time Washington lining up the punt. Boy, punts it, and it's a good one. Scale. Fields it to 29. Stewart with a monster hit. Yeah, we got an injured player on the field. They'll 
take over at the 34-yard line. They line up in the shotgun. They keep it on the ground. Tailback gets past the tackler, and he's taken down. Maybe a yard on that draw play. Second and nine. Ball on the 35. The Hokies come out in the shotgun. On the ground with the tailback. The defense comes up with a good play to pull him down for a loss. A nice call by the defensive coordinator. It's like he's in their huddle sometimes. Third down and ten coming up. Ball on their own 34. One man backfield. Drops back to pass. Looks. He tosses it short. In and out of his hand. The big guy let it go through his fingers. The tight end's hands are all torn up and his knuckles are swollen from blocking every day in practice. You gotta give this guy a break. I don't know about that, coach. Nowadays, tight end's gotta be able to do more than just block. He should have caught that ball. And they're ready to punt this one away. Burns punts it, and it's a good one. Number 37 takes it to 12. Taylor with a monster hit. So before the offense hits the field, let's take the time to let you know that our game is brought to you by EA Sports. They'll start this drive at the 17-yard line. The Husky line up with three wide. They'll throw on first down. Short toss. Got it to the senior. Knocked out of bounds. Nice decision by the quarterback. Not only was it good decision making, but the offensive line protected just long enough for him to find his target. And when you combine the two, it'll be a first down nine out of ten times. First and ten. Ball on their own 33. They run a counter. He's hit and got away. And they hit him in the backfield. That blitz couldn't have worked any better for the defense or any worse for the offense. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 33-yard line. The Husky come out in the ace formation. On the ground with the tailback. And he's tackled. The running back gives them six yards on the ground. Six on the play. Third and four. Ball on the 39. All-time Washington lines up in a goal line set. They come out in a goal line set. They keep it on the ground with the tailback. Jets that one. Taylor with a takedown. And it looks like he got the first down. I'll tell you what, Brad, that is very close. I didn't think he was going to make it there, Coach. Kirk, I agree with you 100%. I thought he was stopped short, too. This kid shows some real determination on that run. All-time Washington in a four-wide set. It's a direct snap. And they got him for a loss. The D lineman wasn't letting anyone buy him that time. And the big fella did a heck of a job plugging up the hole where that play was supposed to go. That guy's so big, Kirk, he doesn't plug up holes. He plugs up the whole line down there. Yo! Hands it off, and they make the stop. The running back gets two on the carry. That'll bring this quarter to an end. Folks, we've played three, and our score is all-time Virginia Tech, 14, all-time Washington, 13. The defense will try to stop this third down as they were unsuccessful the first time on this drive. This is the kind of running back who can make you pay when he's in the zone. He's looking. He's looking down the middle. What concentration. They pick up some positive yards that time. Well, here you get a chance to see the ability of this quarterback. His arm strength, the middle toughness to be able to deliver the ball on time. And remember, this play was well covered by that defense. Kirk, I agree with you. I thought the defense had that one covered. 
Terrific job by the quarterback. The Huskies line up with two tight ends. And this one's broken up. They went for it, but they were denied. Well, that was a situation where they had to go for it. I agree. They can't afford to let the other team hold on to the ball. Time is ticking away. They'll get the ball here at the 49. Suggs, alone in the backfield. Deep pass down the right side. And he dropped it. The receiver had the ball right in his sights, but he couldn't gather it in. Unreal. Did I just see that? Did he just drop a touchdown or what? So it's second and ten. Ball on their own 49. All-time Virginia Tech comes to the line with three wide. And the snap goes to the back. He's hit and got away. They'll bring him down. What an athlete. Does this guy have some wheels or what? He's the fastest player in the football field right now. You can't name another guy out there who can beat this kid in a race. Mm. I would say one of those corners, but I don't think they can keep up with him either. It's first and ten. Ball on the 40. The Hokies go with the I formation. They go with the option. He can scoop. Tackle. Nice running on the option there. That was a spectacular option keeper there. And I'm going to tell you why. It looked like that play was going nowhere, but this quarterback made the right choice by holding on to the football. You're right. Good heads up play there by the QB. First and ten. Ball on the 20. Suggs wants the ball. We'll see if they give it to him. Let's it go. It's tipped. Almost intercepted. The quarterback really lucked out there. I thought they had a chance for an interception, but I'm sure they'll settle for the incompletion. It still was a good play. So it's second and ten, and this is the fifth play of the current drive. They line up in a double tight set. Here's the option. Home. Tackles him for a loss on the play. And they stop him on the option. Boy, that's a nice job here by the defender of getting into the backfield and breaking that play up. Third down, 13. This is the sixth play of this drive. The Hokies come out showing three wide. King comes across the middle. Number nine with the interception. That interception breathes new life into this team. I'm not quite sure I would have made that pass. It obviously wasn't open. This quarterback's got to be more conservative with the ball when they have the lead late in the game like this. And they've got a lot of field in front of them as they start this drive. Tuyasa Sopo with three wide receivers. Tuyasa Sopo drops back to pass. Going deep. Down the sideline. And he's tackled. Wow, nice catch. Way to look at it. Heck of a job by the wide receiver. These guys are moving the ball down the field. It's first and ten. Ball right around midfield. Tuyasa Sopo has four receivers lined up here. Smith tackles him for a loss on the play. He was stopped in his tracks on that one. Oh, yeah, and that's because of the nice pursuit by the defense there. Second and ten. Ball on the 50. Tuyasa Sopo with four wide receivers. Aaron and out long. Got it. And he's brought down. That was a big time play and a new set of downs. I think the defense might have been thinking run there. Well, I don't blame us. It's pretty common to see a run on first and second down, but this offense is keeping them guessing. Right. 
And we take a quick look at the stats from within the red zone, brought to you by Old Spice Red Zone, when performance matters the most. Tuyasa Sopo comes to the line with three wide, broke away from one, and he's tackled. A nice job by the offensive line, and they pick up a gain of eight. They come out with three wide receivers. Two guys to Sopo. Gives it up the middle. Jake's off a tackle. Taylor brings him down. He picked up a first down on that run, Coach. Yep, and you know, if you can pick up a few more first downs on the ground like that, it will really open up the play-action pass. Crowd in that line of scrimmage. Uh, uh, right. uh, Whitaker with a takedown. Zero yards on that play. No on the play. to the line with a jumbo package. Touchdown, Huskies! They get the short run for the touchdown. Yeah, it was a short distance, but he still had to work hard to get into the end zone. The Huskies line up in a goal line formation. Pitchers out to the right. They'll bring him down. I don't agree with that call, Kirk. Here's a situation where you need a two-point conversion and you call a simple run play. He should have let the quarterback roll out of the pocket. That way he can either run it in himself or dump it to somebody in the end zone. Yeah, I'm with you, Lee. I'm disappointed with that call. That really shows a lack of creativity by the old ball coach. All-time Washington to kick. He boots it deep downfield. Number 80. Fields it in the end zone. Let's watch this defense and how aggressive they are. They were able to get a pick the last time, and they're like a wild animal. When they smell blood, they go in for the kill. Make it easy, coach. You get excited. Hey, that's right, sweetheart. I'm always excited. They'll work from the shotgun. He jokes it. And he's taken down. Not much help from his blockers, and he's only able to gain a yard. Blocking this D tackle when he's in the zone he's in won't be easy. They'll drop him for a loss. All time, Virginia Tech calls a timeout. Third and ten. Ball on the 20. From the gun. Drop back to pass. Look, throws it, got the screen set up. All time Virginia Tech takes a timeout. The Hokies line up with three wide, steps up in the pocket, and they sack him on fourth down. Not much of a chance on that one. Well, they had to go for it. We're at a point where there's not much time left, and you got to put it all on the line. Oh. On the 12, and they can smell the goal line. And this should be a kneel down as they just try to kill the clock. All-time Virginia Tech calls a timeout. And since we're in the red zone, let's have a look at the numbers. Brought to you by...
by Old Spice Red Zone when performance matters the most. All-time Washington will kneel on it here as they count the seconds down. And he'll just kneel it here. Third and 14 coming up here. Ball on the 16-yard line. All-time Washington lines up for the shotgun set. Shake and bake move. And down he goes. Excellent run that time, but it still won't be enough to move the chain. Pretty much going to do it. Kirk, what do you think of this one? I'm sad to see this one end because it's a great game to watch. All-time Virginia Tech had plenty of chances to win this football game, but it wasn't meant to be today. All you can do now is try to bounce back after a close loss like this. Well, that'll wrap up another chapter in NCAA Football 2006. And our final count, all-time Washington, 19. All-time Virginia Tech, 14. So for Lee Corso and Kirk Herbstreit, this is Brad Nessler saying goodbye, everybody, and thanks for tuning in.